I mean, I know I'm not the first person that this has ha happened to. But you feel like you're the only person when it's happening directly to you. And the loss will be overwhelming. Well, when we bought this place, where I'm sitting in every direction, you could see nothing but garbage. And most of the buildings were covered in blackberries. Um, we took over 200 plus appliances to the landfill. We cleaned up four dump sites back in the woods. We planted over 10,000 trees. Uh, we recycled everything we could find. It is an extraordinary labor of love. It has become our sanctuary, it's our home. I don't want the pipeline. I don't want any more fracked gas. I don't want my government giving foreign corporations the right to take my property and my life's work for just the simple fact of pure corporate profit and greed. If we're gonna build a hospital, or if we're going to build a school, or if we're going to build a road that benefits the public in some way, there is some value to eminent domain. I cannot argue that. But when we're talking about eminent domain simply for the very singular purpose of a corporation having the ability to take private property and private lands for shareholder profits, that is an absolute violation of my liberties as an American citizen. We cannot give up. You want to hope that somebody sees this and that it touches their heart in a way that says, what I'm doing is wrong. That I'm taking people's property so that we can profit is wrong. The one thing that you don't have to change is your values. And our values are very clear. That we respect and we care about this planet. And what they want to do to our land is unacceptable and I'll do anything I can to stop them.